Welcome to our video, Next Steps for Sellers Who've Enrolled a Brand. You've enrolled your brand in Amazon Brand Registry. Congrats! After Brand Registry approves your enrollment, both your Brand Registry and Seller Central accounts will be associated with your brand, and you'll be ready to enjoy additional selling benefits, added protections, and greater control over your product detail pages. As you begin to explore all the opportunities available, make sure you also complete a few key steps in order. Your first step after enrollment with Brand Registry should be listing your products. If you haven't already listed your brand's products in the Amazon store, wait until after you've received confirmation that your enrollment is approved. After approval, you can list using our standard processes you'll be able to use the brand name field to select or enter your registered brand name. If you enter your brand name manually, make sure it matches the name on your trademark exactly. This helps ensure that your products are associated with your brand and integrated into the tools reserved for enrolled brands. To get step-by-step -step instructions for the full listing process, see the series of modules in our List Products course in Seller University. If you previously listed products within your brand by entering an unregistered brand name in the Brand Name field, you should contact Seller Support after your enrollment in Brand Registry is approved. Tell them that you want to sync your existing listings with your newly registered brand name and provide the name of your brand as it appears on your trademark, as well as a list of relevant ASINs. You should do this even if the name in the brand name field isn't changing so that your existing products can be associated with your brand's registration. If you previously listed your brand's products in the Amazon store by entering or selecting generic in the brand name field, you should delete those listings and create new ones using your newly registered brand name. We can't associate an existing listing with a registered brand after generic has been used as a brand name value. After your products are listed and associated with your brand, you can activate each brand benefit for your selling account. You can find them all by hovering over the Brands section of the main menu in Seller Central, clicking Build Your Brand, and scrolling down to the bottom of the page. There's no exact order for activating selling benefits. Some brands configure settings for the Subscribe and Save program, then use Brand Analytics dashboards to understand the impact. Others review Brand Analytics dashboards first, then decide to group and sell their products as virtual bundles. But it's important to note that some benefits are designed to be activated ahead of others. For example, a brand needs to create a store before they can use posts to attract followers. They also need a store before they can create sponsored brands campaigns because those campaigns include a link to their store. In general, we recommend starting with selling benefits that can help grow the audience for your brand, like a content and stores. Then we recommend investing in programs like Subscribe and Save and Virtual Bundles, which can generate repeat purchases and other types of customer loyalty. When you've optimized your brand's Amazon footprint and operations, we recommend informing your strategy with tools like Manage Your Experiments and Brand Analytics. It's also never a bad time to reinvest in protections for your brand. If you qualify for programs like Transparency or Project Zero, enrolling in them can help keep you and your customers safe from counterfeits and other types of IP infringement. And every enrolled brand can use the Report a Violation tool at any time to notify Amazon of suspected IP violations. As you use various brand benefits, you can also reach out to seller support if you ever suspect that one of your products hasn't been successfully associated with your enrolled brand. For example, if a product appears to be missing from a brand analytics dashboard, provide seller support with the exact brand name that appears on your trademark, along with the ASIN that you think may not yet be associated. Another step you may want to take after enrolling your brand is connecting it to additional Seller Central or Brand Registry accounts. 
By doing so, you can provide additional Amazon sellers with listing privileges for the brand, meaning they can create or suggest updates to your brand's product detail pages. These additional sellers are eligible to activate brand selling benefits too. Through separate processes, you can also assign one or more roles to additional brand registry accounts, which gives them access to various permission settings and protection tools. For more information about associating additional Seller Central accounts with your brand, see our Seller University video, Manage Selling Benefits for Your Brand. And to learn more about affiliating additional brand registry accounts, see our video, Manage Amazon Brand Registry Roles. This concludes our training. Thank you and happy selling in the Amazon store.